An alchemist is one who transforms everything with love. See our free ebook for more information on the etheric and scientific explanation of plasma technology. Understand this technology. It is the essence of the creation in every way, shape, and form. Each GANS particle is exactly like a sun, a free sun. It is a free atomic structure. It radiates energy out continuously with a non-stop flow of free energy. It is in its fundamental free structure waiting for your instructions. All right, this is class four of a four class series of GANs and water making with Heather and Linda of HB Plasma Solutions. Today is Saturday, January 7th, 2023. <laughs> I'm trying to be more official so we know exactly <laughs> when this Thank you. is recorded. Um, <laughs> and, and so we were talking about nano coating and, um, and the fun times, even more fun to be had with nano coating, coating many more steps. And uh, <laughs> now the mic is off to Heather and Linda. Thanks so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so um, I thought we would would start today with just a, a short, you know, coherence building, and then um, spend a, a few minutes at least, just kind of contemplating, you know, what what we're doing here. You know, when you're working with GANs and plasma water and and all of that. Um, what what level of consciousness and and dimension and um, <clears throat> coherence are you playing with, and and what are the attributes of that? You know, just in general, and what um, what you can um, why why you can use it, I guess, and how it enhances our lives, that kind of a thing. And then um, I would like everybody to be able to to share if you brought some of your items that you made with your with your plasma over these last couple of weeks so um if you have some of that near or around you i thought that would be fun if you have any of it um either to show or talk about and um, some of the <clears throat> experiences that you've had it with it during the week any awarenesses you've had um come up in just playing and interacting with it around your house and home and um, and nano coating, yes, I want to put that in kind of um, at the end, so you have a little bit of a um, understanding of what the the steps and the processes are and the ways to do that. And um, as I was saying before, I, my my aim was to put together a, a little video clip to show you how it's done. It ended up being like thirty more than 30 minutes long just because all of the different intricate steps and then this morning I realized oh I didn't even put in you know how to find the wire how to strip the wire how to put it <laughs> so there's going to be some more sections to add to that um so I will upload that video and it'll be available for you guys to watch um after class and then um the the main bulk of this class today I put together uh, the different kind of ideas that we've had and ways that we've incorporated into our lives, all the different things that you can plasmify <laughs> and how and why and kind of uh, what what to do with them, like in the house and the garden and pets and people and experiences with them, because that's the fun, right, is, is having the things around you and um, the things that you do on a normal daily basis anyways and seeing how it affects that, right, because it's definite shift. So that would probably bring us up to the two hours, the way we like to talk and do things. Um, also, I, I assume if you have some, um, some questions that have come up in your mind, of course, um, that can be interjected as we you know, go through the different ideas of how to use it. Um, and we'll make some, some time, just a time block in there, say, hey, you know, the participants that are here, if you have some uh, questions that have come up on any of the things we covered in the first classes, right? We'll need to take take a look at that. So I appreciate you guys all coming in person and everybody that's listening later. Welcome, because you're involved in all of this and, and part of it. 
<clears throat> and um, oh, I wanted to say, so the, you know, the plasma that we made with you, with our kits, this is like, you know, it's a group plasma, right? I mean, like anything, you get together in a group, you're creating a group plasma, but now you have one in a, a little <laughs> bottled up, <laughs> in a little genie bottle here. That's that's the level of consciousness of this group of, you know, what was created. And now I'm realizing that we were creating all this like over um, this beautiful end of the year, winter energy, the solstice, the um, <clears throat> cleaning and clearing out of a lot of the riffraff and the bringing in of more of the Christed light. I mean, all of that is up in here. And so this is the like the the latest plasma, right? All the, the ones that I've made in the past few years and months and whatever. This one is the, um, I would say, I don't know, highest quality or or the, the most powerful um, one that's ever been made, right? Because it's made in this new energy, right? With with all of us. So that will go in and, you know, I put a, I've already started, you know, when we make our necklaces and the hugs and the vials, I've already added some of the new plasma into that so that it goes out <clears throat> to um, the other people that, you know, listen to Penny or um, that have found us in different ways. So that is cool. All right. So now would be a time that we can just kind of sit down and kind of come back to this moment, to being with each other. I think I will do, oh, you know what, Carissa, I do need the screen sharing capability. Yes, definitely. Let me make you the host. Bear with me. I just have to change my view. And I, so I can here. see the pins. Okay, great. So I have you pinned. And so it'll only show you on the recording. So that's perfect. All right. Do bring this up here. All right. Let me go ahead and share. <clears throat> if everybody can take a moment to just kind of breathe into this moment and that to get to her. be with you know the energies of this day anything that has been going on in your mind and you've been working on and working towards or toggling with we'll go ahead and take a breath okay so let's go ahead and take a few breaths together right nice deep breath in And blow out, releasing any of the energies of previous concerns of the day or what you got to do or <laughs> all those things. Breathing in from my true source, from your own true source, whatever you consider that to be. I like to ground <clears throat> to the beautiful heart energy of Gaia, the highest expression of Gaia that's available to me in this moment. Add her light to mine and vice versa. Combine my source energy, my guy energy and my own to create a beautiful bubble of clear, coherent space for myself and combining with the other beautiful, clear Christed beings that are here to co-create this day, this class, this plasma together. You'll see that beautiful plasma bubble of light and information and love is spreading out across this planet, this universe, everywhere. It's exponential. <clears throat> And take a moment to feel the return of that love and coherence back to me. So I'm going to take a moment to read something that um, Penny recently said about plasma and the study of it and the learning of it. <clears throat> that I thought was amazing. Then I keep running across all the amazing things that she's said that help bring things around to me, right? 
<clears throat> she says she was talking with somebody about um, different things to do with their health and well-being. And she said, um, studying plasma, it has to do with health and healing. It has to do with understanding the basis of that health and healing. When you study Keshe and Gans, yes, the nanomaterials and all of the plasma principles, you have the new science that underpins the new world. So that's part of what you're here to do. If you're still trying to work on the old premise, you'll get some responses, but the <clears throat> understanding is much deeper and much more powerful when you understand plasma and what it is and what it does and why it works and how it works. So you're here to heal yourself. In doing that, playing with plasma technology, you will teach yourself. So I thought that was beautiful. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and move that and move on to, I'm going to go ahead and, and share if you wanted to keep your eyes closed, you're welcome to. Um, this is some slides that I put together just as a kind of a spinoff of that as a contemplation of, you know, what, what are we doing here? What is kind of the level of what we're playing with. And I'm going to try to make that a little bigger. There we go. And then, then um, I'll open it up for discussion after that. <clears throat> so when we're playing with, with plasma, you can go back and, and watch. There's so many different videos. I've tried to kind of make it a little more concise for people and say, you know, look at this one, this one, and this one. So when you're on my YouTube, I've um, put in a lot of different playlists. But in the little blue box here, the, the main thing that we're looking at is when you um, are creating that nano coating on the, um, on the copper, you're, you're basically dictating that everything that's within that space is working within the plasmatic state. And at the plasmatic state, there's a very different level of, um, I would call it physics, right? And a different level of experience of your environment. <clears throat> this is a little bitty. Oh, it didn't come out very big. I bet I can make it a little bigger. <clears throat> Somebody did a electron microscope picture of GANs, right? So <clears throat> some people talk about it being like a torus field, which is also like everything else that is alive, right? Has a torus field. I always like to see things in a microscope. So what is at the center of a torus field, right? It's it's the kind of zero point energy, the um the um the plasma energy of a thing that's like the basis basis of life, the the center point where other things are created from. <clears throat> just a reminder that we start off with, you know, actual piece of copper. Then we work into the, um, the, the liquid and gas state. And as the particles get smaller and smaller, <clears throat> you call them nano, GANs, and plasma. And of course, as you're, you know, we're thinking about what can we do with this and what kind of energy does it have, the energy density and capabilities have to actually get more and more as, as a thing gets smaller and smaller. So we're working down at the smaller stage. <clears throat> um, just a reminder that there is this document about the body knows plasma. The, the body <clears throat> works on a plasmatic um, principle. It's an enclosed plasmatic um, <clears throat> shell, I guess you would call it. So when you think of what you made in your little jar, it's similar, right? You have an enclosed state with a nice little salt water <laughs> working in, which is what, what our bodies work on. And the body utilizes the plasmatic state of the things that you put in it, right? Whether it's air or food, it's not even using the atoms, right? It's using the, the frequency and the, um, the essence of those things. <laughs> so like, you know, most of the things that are um, in their natural state are in this Taurus 
field. I just love these things, these big old maps of the universe, right? Um, <clears throat> there's so many different ways of looking at, you know, what are the dimensions? What are the different levels of um, energy that we're looking at? You know, you can talk 3D to 5D. Um, and of course, when you're functioning in 3D, so um, the concept is that <clears throat> You can be living your life in 3D or you can be living it in 5D, right? Um, Penny actually has a great write-up on this on her, her website. I, I have it brought up in case we want to reference it. But um, <clears throat> your expectations of how well things go in life, <laughs> right, <laughs> in the 3D level is, you know, things get in the way and um, there's more of that kind of... Um, victim aggressor type energy, right? Um, blame, those kind of things that you maybe don't have quite as much control about what is, um, well, seemingly don't have quite as much control <laughs> with immediately about what is going on in your environment. Whereas in the more like a 5D physics, things just kind of take care of themselves, right? And you're talking synchronicities, you're talking the body, um, finds its way back to its homeostasis and health. You find the things that you need and require just kind of show up and people knock on your door that you need, you know, those kind of things. So um, to me, that that all goes together with these concepts, right? That the, the, um, the different levels that we're working with, with plasma is we're taking things from the 3D kind of concrete, things are stuck state, and you're, we're moving them up into this, okay, things are quite malleable and they self-organize kind of state, right? And so that's what you're spraying on your <laughs> fruits and vegetables or putting in your um, your vials or, or whatever. I, I use this chart a lot, the Hawking scale. And um, it again, this is just all frequency, right? These are all the different emotions you can be living by down in here is going to be 3D, right? The lower section. And up in here is going to be 5D and beyond. And again, it's just um, a level of frequency. If you're in love, joy, peace, that kind of a range, um, things are going to work out a lot better, right? It's, there's a lot less between you and what you're um, wanting to experience and your source, right? So, um, Again, to me, the, the plasma is operating in this level. I know it is because we test it that way. Whereas my human self, you know, yeah, I can dip down there every now and then and hang out there pretty good if something happens, right? <laughs> it takes a little while to, <laughs> okay, I can deal. And then um, come back up, whereas the plasma is pretty constant, well, pretty, it is just constantly up in these upper realms. It just sits there. It hasn't had the life we have. <laughs> And Heather, in regards to 3D, 4D, 5D, so the 3D realm is actually almost kind of like training wheels because folks, yes, there we go. Folks Let's are it feels like a playpen. So yes. folks are unwittingly okay. creating based on their thoughts, which are um, a fear and anger. And what they don't understand is that that's also creating the chaos. So it yes. protects them from harming themselves. Yeah. And then, as you move into 4D, 5D, your thoughts manifest quicker and your emotions manifest immediately. Yep, yep. So that's why the purification <laughs> process is necessary and the shadow root work is necessary. Because mm -hmm. again, per your meditation this morning, what you emit comes back to you. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's really a protect, you know, folks say one thing or another, <laughs> but, but really it's really protecting you as you move on your journey and each yep. individual as they move on their journey yeah we we needed those training wheels on <laughs> to, to kind of get the hang of this us, yeah and and i and the, i see the plasma is kind of training wheels for the um the higher dimensional expressions right because it's definitely a different yeah. level of experience with everything and yes. and to that point as you said so and everything has it's a Taurus field, right? So everything has both directions. It has the the yin and the yang. It has the things need to come together. It has the things need to go apart. You you need all of that for creation, you know. But in balance would be nice, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so um, just a reminder that what we're doing 
with the GANS is actually mimicking what's going on in the leaf, in the plants, in the human. So it's very natural. Um, I put a few slides in here about cymatics. Um, this is actually some that uh, a fellow, I sent him some plasma recently. And he's gonna try his cymatics with it. You've, you've all seen pictures where they play a vibration in water and it makes all these beautiful patterns. Look, this one even made like this cute little angel. I just think that's cool. Wow, wow. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing his information like with the yeah. group or in the chat, that would be wonderful later. Yes. Yeah, I, I sent him quite a bit lately and he's going to play with it. We're just curious if the plasma water will make any different um, geometries than just regular water does with the same uh, tones and, and things that he does. So that's going to be fun. Always like to research. Um, Another way you can observe the torus field around the plasma is to freeze water that has been plasmified or plasma devices that are in or near water. And you can really observe the beautiful patterns that are made in the water that way. So there's this document on our Google Drive and in the ebook um, regarding the effect of temperatures on plasma. And from what Kesh says, which makes sense, and what we've observed is that it is stable at all pressures, temperatures, and pHs. Again, not really work, working with or following the laws of 3D physics. Um, so, yeah, part of the point is, you know, like what you were saying is that you're going to, if you're emitting your frequency into the universe, right instead of necessarily like picking up on and <laughs> and resonating with all that other kind of lower stuff right then um that's the plan so this is some more of his um images so in between each of these little um frequency emanations are these little um nodes and i think that's oops sorry i see that so cool um <clears throat> so this is just you know just that that we're putting out into our field being mindful of what we're putting out while we're making our gans while we're going through our life um he's done some pretty cool things and of course you know your your energy field size is going to be um bigger broader and more expansive when you're in the higher dimensions when you're in the higher emotions or not emotion states of being i would say and you're emanating your light so this is that Hawking scale again. And then of course, you know, up at these upper ranges, that's where you're um, more at ease, you're more um, coherent. And of course, that's the experience that you are attracting to yourself, right? It's not that you can't go down there. There's no wrong about it. You can. We all do as we start to process our business, like you were saying. Um, but you can also consciously redirect that. So the GANs and plasma water are doing a great job of emanating a very high frequency, a coherent frequency, I would say. Addicts. Wow. And of course, everything, you know, you look in the, the universe, the pictures of <clears throat> all of that is, is a torus field. Then there's the concept of dead water versus live water. Well, plasma is definitely live water. And one of the fun things is, is it tends to convert dead water to live water. You can also look a lot into Dr. Gerald Pollack's information about the fourth phase of water and the attributes of that. And that's basically the cellular water inside our bodies and how it self-organizes. Subject about structured water. Is this structured water? Is it not? I'm not that into structured water, so I don't know that much about it. Um, if somebody put the water in you know, whatever way they observe this and observe plasma water, I would think it would do something similar. It seems to be more organized, right, than a regular water. Um, so again, <laughs> this is what I show people when, when I'm working with them in sessions, but you have a choice, you know, whether to orient yourself towards a positive timeline experience or focus more on some of the lower, more discordant type energies. Uh, another really amazing guy, and I'll put the reference here for, um, what's his name, Quantum Doug? He's got okay. some, yeah, he did some work with um, Dr. Dr. Tiller. I don't recall his last name. Um, 
but I, you know, the main reason I put this up is just because of the, the connection between the different dimensions and what we're doing. As you get down into these, or up, <laughs> whichever way it is, into this infinite energy, you know, that's, that's where the physics actually shifts over, right? This is a totally different physics in the lower dimensions than it is up in these higher dimensions. And he talks a whole lot about that and how it actually looks in the physics world, which my <clears throat> other brain, other side of my brain really enjoys that kind of discussion. <laughs> and also, um, I think pennies, I think that's the last one I have on there. I'll um, stop sharing. And the reason I bring all that up is because that's kind of a basis for saying, okay, so what are we doing here? You know, are we, um, are we playing in those realms, right? When we're playing with the plasma technology, I feel like we are. Mm -hmm. so, I feel like we are. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, so Melinda. Melinda shared uh, Doug Matsky, the book, Deep Reality. Yes. Uh-huh. He's in another group that, that we're in, and he's quite an amazing mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll stop there for a minute, see if anybody has any questions or discussion. I better check my participant list. Um, no, I think we're good in that department. Okay, and then this one. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that one. Does anybody have any questions or discussion on that before we go into fun and exciting, interesting uses for all this stuff? Because <laughs> there's a lot. I can talk forever about it, but I'm going to limit myself. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, she can. <laughs> it doesn't seem that there's any questions. Did you want to go ahead and make me host again? Mm. Well, I'm going to screen share. All oh, okay. No, other... never mind. <laughs> Unless we have a question or anything, any discussion about that. Okay. <clears throat> so I thought before I get all into that, I want to make sure, are there any um, questions that came up for people while they were making their plasma or any um, like awarenesses that they would want to share at this time or bring up for, for discussion about things that they sprayed it on, <laughs> people that <laughs> had things happen that they said, here, I have some of this. Let's put that on there. <laughs> when we first started making the, the, the Gansas and the plasma waters, I sprayed everything that oh, came yes. to this house, I, including people. I joked about anything that, <laughs> anything that doesn't move gets sprayed. <laughs> Your frequency harmonizes with our frequency or higher. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. And how was that experience? Did you, what, what happened? Were there any interesting things that happened when you did that? Everything was, everything was harmonious in the house, even with friends and visitors. <laughs> so yeah. I take that as a sign. Yeah. And I, I was, it, is. it was coherent. Yeah. <clears throat> I even did laundry. I'd pour plasma water in the laundry mm -hmm. water. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's just, plasma likes to spin. So if you put it in anything, yeah. <clears throat> that's already spinning it just, it, you know, exponentiates the fields. So I thought, oh yeah, you need like a little um, plasma ball that you throw in the, in the washer wash dryer, machine. but just the, the water itself, I, you know. You wow. Throw that in there. And it one is. of the, oh, see, now we're getting into my other presentation. One of the <laughs> ladies who gets her autistic children, um, you know, it's hard to get them to wear something. It's not really safe for them to wear. They might swallow it. Yeah. But um they would let her um, spray their clothing with yeah. water or wash it with it or ask or even ask them to put the pads on their clothes before they put the clothes on and it would oh. pick up enough of that that they were able to to tolerate and benefit from but not be overpowering right, yeah. right. <clears throat> so those fields just kind of last which is one of the discussions what, what one of the autistic uh, parent and, and, and child the the child the the young autistic child would they they communicated to, uh, intuitively but anyway the child right. would tell mom to to put the patches on her bed before before mm -hmm. she slept on it to plasmify the bed but then she'd have to take the patches off before the child would go to bed but the child wanted the patches on the bed <laughs> it's like 
Which mm-hmm. makes sense because with autistic children, they are highly, 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 highly sensitive. Yes. So they're already spinning very quickly. Yes. Mm-hmm. So anything that comes into their field, they feel it a hundred <clears throat> thousand times more than uh, an, uh, our generations. Yeah, it yes. makes sense because a lot mm-hmm. of them reported that the patch, that the plasma water was too strong. That would make yeah. sense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so that's also why they kind of withdraw and retreat too, because of the sensory yeah. overload. Yeah. Yeah, and it's almost <clears throat> maybe the opposite uh, because they're 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 trying they are already up there mm-hmm. in those higher mm-hmm. dimensions trying to ground into their system, mm-hmm. and we're, and we're going the, <laughs> the other way. So it's kind of like a meet in the middle kind of a yeah a setup. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Anything anybody wants to share? Ask there, there is a hand raised. Raya, your hand is raised. Sorry, Aya. <laughs> well, that, that's all good. Yeah, I was just um, uh, in terms of the shares and stuff. Yeah, it's it was an interesting process because there's for me a big difference between my expected. Okay, this is how it's gonna go and how it actually goes. And <laughs> part of that was like um, with the boys you know the I, as you, I don't know if you would have noticed on the screen but the friend was much more interested than my yeah, son yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I, and it, it's a reflection of like what I'm going through my process of just learning to homeschool in general um and you know my personality his personality but anyways but yeah. what was really a, a few things that were really cool about it was um it turned into like other experimental opportunities like they used the tools to learn how to um you know make a water bubble on a coin for example um and they just played with it and then actually after the talk my younger son took the spray bottle and did the little i love you hearts and sprayed all the plants around the the little things it was pretty cute little things were picked up um um, but then like for me personally i wasn't mentally able to be in a, a space to hold space to Sort of connect with the plasma as much as I would have wanted to while we were making it. So um, it's still in our house in some jars, and then we put some in in the small vials, the ones that you you know the, the, on the last session that we had done. And I just put them right now because my intuition was to not use them yet. So I put the small jar, uh, vials just on. I have got a sticker of a flower of life and they're just kind of sitting on the flower of life sticker right now for a while until I feel the time's right to use them. And I'm still using the vials that I have from you that I actively spray things. So <laughs> it's a bit of an interesting learning and yeah, just it's it's been a really amazing learning process for me. So um, in a unique way that I didn't expect, so. Yeah, and I'm so thankful to be here with all you guys and listening and sharing. So, yeah. Oh, great. great. I love when kids get involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Raya. Something to consider, just like um, with the water as well, is to telepathically say, while I don't have time to presently be with you, know that I love you and I deeply appreciate your presence in my space and that my heart's with you, even though I may not physically be present or mentally be present for you. Mm-hmm. So even that communication helps helps empower the water and the gans. Totally. It's like a human. That. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. That's a little a big aha. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's in it's in your midst, you know, like <clears throat> I think it was Deb was saying before, where it's it's in communication with your body because you're, you know, in the same space. So it's it's already kind of saying, okay, what do you need? What do we what can we help with? <laughs> you know, yeah, whether, whether you're asking it to or not, I guess. Or a second, oh, I'm sitting here waiting for your and directions. because you made it, yeah, and because you made it, right? It's your creation, so it's going to respond to your needs and stuff. I would think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that it's there to support. That's yeah. That's a. Yeah, and that's the thing. People have asked, like, would it be too overpowering, or can I give it to somebody that's a low consciousness, or you know, my ex, or <laughs> my kids, or whatever? You know, it's not gonna it's not gonna blow anybody up. It's just, it's just, it's only <laughs> gonna give people what they can take or are ready for or whatever. Um, it's just that, if if anything, I think well, maybe some of these um, 
mixes like the one that we made or whatever might have a lot more than they need you know just a little just a basic one would probably be fine for most people <laughs> right but the you know more stuff you add to it the more um information you give it the more um the more it gives back different types yeah it's it's not going to overpower anything or cause any trouble is it because yeah. when you get up in that upper range like we were saying in the upper range of the dimensions or the um the frequencies it's it's all working towards coherence right it's, it wouldn't do anything else that that's great information to be aware of so thank you <laughs> we can give it to other folks and not worry about you know necessarily yeah, either, about they're, either they're not going to feel it and they're like yeah, i don't know what this is i have no idea i can get it but it's going to give them something but they may or may not know what they got <laughs> right <clears throat> yeah. that's fair. I've okay been growing oh sorry no go ahead anybody else i've been growing some micro herbs and i use the plasma water all the time for growing and because micro herbs are so nutritious highly nutritious and then using only the plasma water Ooh. with it, it it's just amazing and knowing that you have got all that plasma water on them yeah you know it impacts so much more oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. i also i i only use plasma water even for our dog only ever yes. gets plasma water yes but also probably a bit of an odd one um when i have especially when it's hot a gin and tonic so i put my gin next to my plasma water <laughs> oh yes it and does if i have problem. a glass of wine i always have yes i have it by um my plasma and i've got one in the i've got them everywhere <laughs> I'm uh -huh. covering every okay. aspect <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, they say it'll change cheap wine into a better one. <laughs> but you know what I found by doing that, um, it's it impacts on the body. You uh -huh. don't. It, it's like the the negative part of, of the wine or the gin oh, okay. doesn't have the impact. The negative effects, yes. You know, the negative effect. Wow, thank you. I went <laughs> to a wedding yesterday and it was really, really hot. So I probably had a little bit, not too much to drink, but more than what I would normally. But I woke up in the morning and I feel great. I oh. don't have the hangover, even if I drink more, which I don't do very often, but it impacts. Oh, beautiful. That that makes sense, Christine. If, if you'll notice, the plasma is cool to the to the to the skin to the sensation. It has a cooling effect to your body. Yeah. So if yes. you put like your necklaces or whatever on your body, it'll cool you down from that heat. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Or I just well, or I have it everywhere in my office. <laughs> I've got my all my plasma. I'm doing. I've got it everywhere. Uh, uh -huh. oh, great. Okay. You're right. Oh, you're you're amazing. Yes, you've been thinking it for a while. That's true. You've been with us a long time. Yes. Yeah, for a while. Yeah, oh, that's great. I live and, by it. And now you're going to make more and share with your friends, right? Yes. <laughs> share it across Nearly Australia. all my friends have got it now. Nearly everyone. Oh, okay. my close friends are all using it. All of them, all over the place. Oh, now, you're you're brilliant. Now, classify all your now, friends. Well, think about yeah. this. I was thinking about it at work. You know how great that was i'd bring my little bottle right here right and my desk just happens to be face forward to my boss's desk right and i'm like let's just sit this right here between us <laughs> you know? and, Good idea. And, and and here yeah you want you want some of these uh salad would be I missed for the heat <laughs> cool mist <laughs> yeah. i love it bringing everything back to coherence yeah. balance <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think Margie has her hand up. I'm not seeing everybody. Yeah, yeah go ahead. The, 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 um, this might be redundant, but Christine, did you use the plasma that you made here with your microgreens? Like yes. when you were growing them? So it had your, I guess, vibration or frequency emitted inside. So when you eat those, maybe this is an advanced test and maybe Heather could mm -hmm. answer this, but um, Talking with the plasma and working with the plasma with growing things, can you work like to make those whatever you're growing 
um, like a vibrational match for your body so that it is more of a benefit than being um, and want to be healthy for your body. Because sometimes plants, you know, they don't always want to be eaten, some of them, you know, and they have their own protective devices with them with toxins or with little things that kind of irritate people like night nightshades for instance you know not everybody can eat them yes so can we make a healthy tomato i guess that would be the simplest question (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) that would work for us i've got point (laughs) i've got a um a big spray bottle i had a plant four plants outside my bedroom window and three quarters of it died, and I tried everything. You know, for everything I tried, and what changed it, and now it's just about up where it was, is I spray it with plasma water a few times a week. So all my plants in my garden get sprayed at least once a week. Yeah, I did, I did that too. Nuts. Mm-hmm. Well, I would think what you're saying, Marjorie, is a, a fine instruction for your plasma water, right? To to make the, the fruit of this plant something that's that's more coherent with my body. I'd love to eat these tomatoes. They look delicious, but those lectins are bug, bugging my belly. <laughs> you know, can we? Yes. I do that. You know, I do that with or without plasma water. We're doing sessions and whatnot. Yeah. You just, you know, to um, we can neutralize the effects you know, whether it's a medicine, a supplement or whatever, neutralize any um, negative effects and accentuate the positive. Yep. Right. So I would think, you know, with the with the plasma as part of what you're doing there, um, that will even accentuate that and, and um, you're watering that with it. So yeah, that's going to yeah. in, put those intentions in there. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. It's I all would, about intention. Yeah. I've got a lot of beautiful, like garden, um samples examples and stuff like that to show you all oh good okay does anybody else have anything oh may may, may i add into this what margie's asking Mm -hmm. um plants are intelligent it doesn't matter if you buy them at the store or not or if you grow you grow your own of course growing your own is better but but even even the store-bought i i i when i consume food i my intention is that this food harmonizes with my body or higher mm-hmm. to whatever my body can can handle but at least harmonize with the frequency of my body mm-hmm. and and balance all the energies of the food so with that i it's my knowing that that none of that stuff's going to harm me and I've, I've not found anything that bothers my body <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. that just sometimes I forget, but I usually say everything I eat turns to health and beauty. You know, I've been saying Ooh, that for that's years. A nice that's a good one too. Yeah. <laughs> and if it doesn't taste good, it's just negated. So yeah. whether yes. I've eaten the whole bowl or not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see Steve has his hand up. Are you the one talking about us starting a brewery, Steve? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, saw oh, I think that's a brilliant idea using it on um yeah beer wine i'm yes. kind of wondering about like a smoky bourbon you know hmm. oh, yes <laughs> but that's plasma distilleries in the future yeah brilliant oh, idea um <laughs> more just sharing um how i'm intending on using or in the process of setting it up uh mm-hmm. for me um, basically, I have a well that pumps into an underground cistern that then supplies the water to the house, the garden, and everything else, and to above ground tanks for storage. Okay. Looking at taking one of the little vials and putting Gantz in it, and then putting that vial in about a gallon jug mm-hmm. and leaving that in the cistern, which is maybe a 1500 gallon cistern. The mm-hmm. well pumps in, yes. saturates it, you know. Plasma plasmatizes the whole thing. Yes. And then the garden, the house, everything. Uh, mm-hmm. to try to make the water more alive, healthy. Yeah. Um, get it yes, at the yes. source of where it's coming into your house. Oh, that's, that's yes. right. We play um, various kinds. Of, that's a we, great idea. We, we yeah. place we place gallon jugs of uh, plasma water in the well house. It yeah, gets just, it when it comes straight up from the ground. So everything that right. comes to the land is plasmified <laughs> for the garden and everything. Yep. And the two above ground tanks that are 
auxiliary storage tanks, like 1,500 or 2,500 gallon tanks. Whoa. If they could suspend one in each one to keep it from going funky. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, Whoa. I know it's worked with our, nice. well, we have like 150 and a 200, yeah. 200 or 300 gallon one. And, and they've been out there for almost 10 years and they're clear as a bell. Wow. Nice. Yeah. And it, we didn't put containers of it. What we did was we poured some GANS water and then I did um, nano coated, um, you know, those copper scrunchies that you use to clean the, um, <laughs> well, you don't use them to clean Linda's iron pots because you get no. in trouble. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can nano coat a, a copper scrunchie and I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> I'll put that in the nano coating yeah. video. Then we put it okay. in the, and we put that in a, you know, we sealed bag. it in a bag. First, I think I think we sprinkled Gans Gans water on it, let it dry. Yeah. Put that in the bag. That was our experiment at the time. It was like what I thought of to try. Yeah, but it worked. And threw that in there. It's just been floating around in there. Yeah. And when we yeah we opened some up the last month or so just to see you know do we need to replenish this and it's it's beautiful. In fact, it test it tested at a really high um, really high neg entropy. Just you know it's, it's still live water. <clears throat> it's been yeah. out there since like 2011. Yeah, 2010, 2011. Any of those things. The water's been stored. Yeah, in whatever. Big tanks. I would say whatever you feel inspired to do, that, that's what you do, right? It's all an experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Love it. Play with it. Play with it, honey. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, you guys <laughs> you guys are getting are, it. You guys are great. Yeah, you really got it. <clears throat> okay. Any other hands or questions, comments before I go through just. I'm going to give you like 5 billion ideas on how to use plasma water. <laughs> um, but it, it will be on, you know, the video to look look back through it. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Was there anything else that we we definitely want to fit into this before I get, because I know I'm going to go down that rabbit hole and I'm going to be there for a while. Um, I, I want to reinforce with everybody <clears throat> that, with or without the plasma water, your your intentions and your and and your connection with things is so so valuable. You you can do it. You all know this, and so I'm preaching to the choir. But I like to remind people that that um, you you can do any of these things that we're talking about with our experience, with or without it. But I do feel that there's been an enhancement of the communication. There's been a, a <clears throat> it's it's something like it's like a common denominator between me and source and 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 this plant you know or whatever it is that I'm I'm trying to affect it does open up a a, a more um, a coherent communication line right and it reminds yes. it reminds me to play right if I got that yeah. little spray bottle in my hand and we just bought some greens you know instead of just mindlessly throwing them in a salad and eating them I'm gonna lay them out. I'm going to play with them. I'm going to say, thank you for being here. I'm going to say, enhance the nutrients and neutralize things and, you know, balance all the energies. Is the first thing I tell balance to do. <laughs> all the energies. Yeah. I just, I just, I always want to, to bring that, that home that, that people are, have that power inside of them. Yeah. Well, speaking of power inside, were you finished? I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking it's of power inside of, inside of you. And you guys know that. Um, we, the body is a walking plasma machine. Yeah. It, and it was quickly and briefly discussed on the some material Heather shared screen on earlier because mm -hmm. the body does all the the GANS processes. It's a nano coated yeah. bunch of tubes because the, the plasma running through it. Yeah, because when the body consumes solid food, it's it's not processing the food, so to speak. It's processing the frequency of the food. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the frequency the of what you've put into the body is what's passing through your cell walls and stuff. Yeah, your your into your bloodstream. So it's the frequency that's in there, and then during the, all this entire this uh, digestive process, it's processing. It's 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 like the making the ganses and the plasmas. So we're we're literally a walking plasma machine. And and you know to that point that making the plasma you're you're actually saving the body a few steps yeah right <laughs> so you're kind of <clears throat> okay it's got to go in there and it's got to you know break down that that leaf into something smaller 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 and finally release its energy when when you're interacting with it with plasma or you're pouring it into your smoothie you're you're kind of 
moving a, moving that along a little bit you know yeah. down the road you might not have gotta, to gotta step out <laughs> yeah you can you can just absorb it from your environment which you yeah. know, Kesh always says you um only only 20 percent of of what um the energy our body needs is is absorbed from the food the other 80 percent is from the environment right the frequencies yeah the, the, the literally yeah so that that's another tangent of that I'll put these two documents here because we've mentioned them in the class. You can find them in the ebook and also separately in the Word document. See the next video for part two of class four where we go over a plethora, <laughs> Pandora's box maybe, of all the different ideas of different ways that you can use the plasma in your life, in your land, your pets, your animals, your gardening, your homestead, all of the above. We are HB Plasma Solutions. That stands for Heartbridge Plasma Water Solutions.